Vish, Marcos, Robbie, thank you so much for taking time out, uh, you know, chatting in NRF 2020. One quick question, right? We've heard so much about the endless possibilities of AI, but where do you focus? Where's the money at, Vish? I mean, you know, from a from a retail uh, industry standpoint, I think obviously there's lots of great areas where you can focus on, but the one thing that really stands out to me is definitely in the supply chain. You know, if you think about a typical retailer, about 52% of their working capital is tied to inventory. Mm -hmm. So even a small change in that can significantly move the needle. And because logistics is always a very hard people process problem, great opportunities to leverage things like optimizations and linear programming equations mm -hmm. and things like that to really fine tune the amount of inventory, all the way starting from forecasting to all the way through how inventory gets delivered down to the store. Uh, uh, I think that's a great opportunity to leverage AI and ML in those areas. Awesome. Robbie? Um, Gaurav, I would um, echo what Vish has said for retail um, with inventory, the same for consumer goods organizations right, yeah. because they have the same problems. I think uh, an, an, an interesting perspective for CGs is the retailers own the data uh, and the relationship with the, cu the customer and the CGs don't. But more and more, and I'm not talking about direct-to-consumer mm -hmm. CGs, but more and more CGs are starting to get access to the data with relationships with advertising and advertising on platform for mm -hmm. retail. And so I think it's a really refreshing and new opportunity for them to approach that data uh, with um, not only improving their current products, but developing new products. So I think there's an opportunity there for AI that they should be exploring. Now D2C, direct-to-consumer, would obviously be using artificial intelligence in a big way to make sure that they're not only optimizing their products, but optimizing their relationship directly with the customer. So yeah. I'd say. Marcos, your perspective? My main takeaway, regardless is if it's for retail organizations or consumer organizations, is really about the cultural implications and the implications on the organization itself. How are the implications of being a data-driven type of, of retailer or consumer goods? And I like the discussion because we, we don't really focus only on technology. Mm -hmm. That is the big topic probably here at NRF. And I think that we, we focus more on the cultural implications and also the fact that the da data is at the end of the day the only uh, source of truth for the organization and is the, the only way in which we can connect the dot uh, on, on the different needs of the different stakeholders in the organization. I really like that approach. Awesome, thank you all. Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you, Gaurav. Thanks. Thank you.